how we start. Um, good day, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. You are welcome to yet another exciting edition of Looking Ahead Talks of the IFFD. Today, our special guest is Rosso Garcia de Linens. She is has a degree in journalism from the University of Navarra. She has eight years work experience in freelance branding and corporate image design. She is happily married. She has been married for the past seven years and she has three lovely daughters. One thing about um, our special guest today is that she's passionate about family orientation. Today, she will be telling us about how she manages to find a balance and means a several roles and avoid stress in the process. I would like you to kindly put your questions and comments in the chat box as we move along. Now we'd like to invite our speaker to begin. However, just to show how family-centric she is, James, our supportive husband, is beside her to give her the necessary support during this session. So, Rocio, please, yes, hear you. Hi, everyone. First of all, thank you so much for inviting me today in the health talk session. As you will say, I'm Rocio. I am a freelance journalist specialist in visual communication. I am 32, 32 years old. And I've been married for seven years, going eight this year, with my husband, James. So he let me introduce. So we are parents of three little girls, aged six, four, and two. No, oh, yes, two. So here we are. We are work parents trying to have fun, educate, and be professionals in our jobs. So I want to, uh, I need to introduce my husband, yes, of course. So I want to share with you some practical tips about finding balance and trying to avoid stress. So, but before I want to introduce or explain a uh, personal experience at work I have when I was studying in my career. Before, uh, when I want to finish, when I have to finish my career, before I uh, intercept, no, interning. You were interning. Yeah, yeah, in a in a post or a newspaper, uh, working as an infographic. Infographic is a person who design, draws uh, the information in a newspaper. So when I start, I was talking with my, one day I was talking with my uh, college and I said, why everybody is here, arrive too early and go to uh, their house too late. So he said to me, do you know uh, which is the name of this uh, uh, newspaper? And it is a game work, no, gaming yeah. work, yes. It's like, uh, you know, imagine the name, so. He puts like cheat, uh, cheating or flirting. Yeah, clear. yeah. So that let me know. Let let me think. No, uh, I want to have this experience for my life. I want to have more time for my work than for my family. So basically, what Othia wants to say is that basically what she saw in this. Uh, during her experience interning is that the people, uh, they didn't have families, they mm -hmm. didn't have stable partners, they were just um, going with each other at work, yes. uh, exchanging different partners. And she don't have time. You didn't yeah. like that. You didn't like what you said. I don't like you? this experience because it's my future and at the work. So I think maybe I have to do different things with my career and, and having a more important things in my life. So I have two uh, conclusions. One is I need to be the owner of my time. So I have to work as a freelance, you know? And the other one, and the second hand uh, is, I need to improve um, about educate my kids, my future as a mother. So I start a family enrichment courses that uh, it uh, gave me the theory you know, about this. So this is my experience you know, in work. So I changed all my mind and we form you now, we have now, three little kids and I have some tips that it's helped me about how can I work at the same time I can be the best mother of my family. Which she does really well. Well, I tried it. So the first one I, is, is it, this is a teamwork. 
So may, uh, thanks God I have my, my partner, it's a good partner. So, but the society say to you, you have to balance 50-50 with your husband, no? You have to, um, um, this two, um, you have to distribute everything, all the cores, yes, all 50 -50. the- 50-50. That is the, the, the key, no? 50-50. And you have to have the same time for your things that your uh, uh, husband too. So I say, that's not the, the, the truth. The truth is if you want to balance, you have to win-win, but it's not exactly a 50-50%. It's 30%, 70% one day. In the one other day is 7%. 30%. So the balance is just to, to put the, um, the situation right, no? But it's not exactly 50-50. I have to renounce of my um, time for career, for improving workouts abroad. So now I am having 30 and my husband had 17. That is the clue, so that is the key of a uh, balance of our work, no? Um, so when you start a, your work or your career, you have to think better. You, th you have to think, what is the best thing I can do? I can be professional at the same time I can do, a, I can stop crying a kids in my room. No, better if I have a timetable and I start to think, to do things better with a, Shuvel, no? yeah, the, the two ways to see it. You can either react as you go along mm -hmm. to all circumstances you have, or you can plan ahead, mm -hmm. make a, we, we, we used to do that, we do that once a week. We plan ourselves, mm -hmm. we do a scheduling, see who's going to take care of what. And that way we try to be as much as, as, much as possible on top of the situation. Yeah, the second tip is like a uh, family priorities, no priorities. So we think we have a list the things that we have to do and make us happy. So if you are maybe you are desperate with the kids, now we have a list in common that uh, the um, things that we that we both enjoy. Yes, that's very important to enjoy just for mental health and everything. So uh, the third uh, type uh, of, um, sorry, no. uh, the third type is manage your time. No, manage your time. You have to learn how to manage your time. So we have a special rule in this house. It's like a eight per a eight per three a equal twenty four. It's like you have eight hours to sleep eight hours to work and eight hours to uh, eat it, no? Yeah, to enjoy with, to the, enjoy rest with of the family. family. Yeah. So how do you do these eight hours, no? In your eight, eight hours, you need to do um, uh, relationships, family time. You have a lot of time. So it's better if you think what is your priority in the time. And the last one is a lot of sense of humor. A lot of sense of humor. Why? Because you are surrounding about tears, whining. <laughs> so it's better if you put this, this, no? And you Those of you know who, who may have little children, you might know the kind of drama, baby drama yeah. you can get. <laughs> yeah, you have and to be plus... happy and don't, and don't, I don't like it, but if you know, it's funny because we are, you no, know, this, this sense of exactly. humor is the, the spy, no? And, uh, it's good to counterbalance because, yes. uh, and even us, we can have uh, tougher days, days when we are not as energetic or not as uh, happy as we should be. And that, and we are, and as Rothio said, it's teamwork. So yeah. when one knows that the other, that the other person is maybe a bit off and a bit low, then it's your job to try and help. So we does. have a special word, you know, you know, it's a special word when we are, I can't do anything more. I, I am going to, to do something bad with my, my kids. So I said the word, a special word, and my, my husband knows it and say, okay, go outside, a deep breath, so I go yeah. and relax because you are going to... <laughs> no? Yeah, exactly. And for conclusion, uh, it's 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 important to to know it. But uh, when you start your career, you think I have uh, the best employ. I want to have the best uh, job. I want to do these goals. I want to no no one one. And how do you do 
for your family or how do you for your future emotion future you know is like to having a family so for us it's uh, the best job at uh, the best thing that we can do for our future no okay? sí, I think so. wow thank you now the real one <laughs> <laughs> okay we continue the discussion but now we'll be directing the discussion based on the questions we have right mm -hmm. Uh, we have this first one here that um, someone, uh, Remy didn't really understand the 30, 70 percent, um, 30, 70 percent. But mm. I feel this is an important point. Can you please repeat this and maybe elaborate a bit on it? The 30, 70 percent. Balance. So, for example, my work has ups and downs. No, I have a lot of uh, work because I'm a freelance. I'm a designer, and I have to. Uh, um, uh, She's got a whole bunch of different clients. For instance. Yes. So I have uh, ups and downs. So I say, okay, I can go to uh, pick up my childrens. No, this is uh, my time for for family time. This is my thirty. I can do more so my husband a uh, balance to the 70 percent and say okay i'm going to do the dinners i'm going to take a bath i'm going to go to the sleep the kids no yeah exactly what what she meant uh, what, what we mean with, with that with the 50 50 70 30 or whatever it means that it's not it doesn't have to be a fixed radius it's important mm. in all marriages in all partnerships to be to be honest, be specific, see what the realities are. Rocio has a more flexible timetable than I do because I work at a large multinational company, mm -hmm. which has its benefits and its disadvantages. Mm -hmm. She has a lot of flexibility with her time. I don't, I have mostly a fixed schedule, mm -hmm. which I can change sometimes. Mm -hmm. And so she adapts a lot more, for instance, to some of the girls. She, she takes the girls every day to school. school yeah. She picks them up. After that, when I get home, then I take care of another another kind of. I course. start to work in another in another place. No, exactly. uh, he do the everything. So, and what we've and what we've done over over these years. I mean, it wasn't easy. You have to talk a lot. Mm. You have to communicate. Uh, but, but mm. It's it's important that we know what's what's important and do it both. But it doesn't mean that we do everything fifty percent. Mm -hmm. We adapt to each one situation. Mm -hmm. It's not the same during the week as it is on the weekends. And the week during the weekends, I mostly don't work. But Rocio, for instance, yes, does. Mm -hmm. So I have to step up and do a lot more things than what I usually do during the week, as it as it goes on household chores, mm -hmm. as it goes on uh, spending time with the kids, maybe mm -hmm. taking them out for a walk. And that's what we meant. It's not that because. Um, because we're married, we have to do 50-50 and be completely is, symmetrical. Yeah. We adapt, but yeah. we do. Flexible. It's just so flexible. You need to shift. talk everything. I, exactly. I'm so stressed because I have to do uh, this project, so I don't have time. Oh, she said, he said, okay, how can I do? How can I take the bath? No, exactly. or, or we sit have in a... the dinner or something like that. I say, okay, but we have a special date every week. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, we have a special date every week. We go uh, go, uh, we go out outside to, to having lunch uh, because our kids is in the school and the kindergarten. So we uh, you know, manage this Our, time exactly. to having a date to converse, uh, to have a special conversation about family. So, yeah. No? yeah, we do that once. We our goals, once our objects, you know, what are we going to do this weekend? So it's better because we have more, you know, uh, um, what is, um, okay. we have okay. this, this space. Okay. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Yeah, I, 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 indeed, that's what I, I, I wanted to hear about the, um, this kind of positive flexibility. Indeed, that we, we, we have this, um, I mean, this is not, I don't like it sometimes when people say society says that we have to do this and that, because in the end, we choose what we hear. But in this, there is this exactly. mentality that it should be 50% men, 50% women, and 50% family, and 50% work. But mm -hmm. life is not like this at all. And we, I mean, the point of work, mm -hmm. of course, is personal fulfillment, but bringing money to sustain the family. 
So mm-hmm. work should be for the family and not the family suffering from the work being a priority. So I really like what you what you described. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for you. Okay, thank you. Um, Evan wants to know if um, this 70, 30, although you've explained actually it means flexibility, if it sounds like um, the 2080 Pareto law. Yeah, that's, that's true. <laughs> we do that, but it, we do that. We do that, but it's different. Yeah, it is different because um, yeah. if you want to explain, so Pareto law is is curious. You can use in your house like priorities. If I say, well, it's that, it's that you. No, no, you, no, you're explaining yeah, yeah. really well. No, but and this is the, the best. What we you know. identify usually twenty percent of what of the things we have to do get eighty percent of the result we mm-hmm. want. For mm-hmm. instance, we are uh, we like to have a house tidy. Mm-hmm. That means it's impossible to clean everything, everything. or <laughs> e- every day. So what we do, we focus on the main things. Everyone picks up to themselves the dishes, mm-hmm. uh, the oral clothing. We do put some laundry every day. But little by little, we get 80%, our house is 80% tidy every day. Every day. For because instance. we have uh, the 20% do it. So we have a in Carlos, no? Yeah, we have the course, specific course, course specific chores, course. everyone. That that means it's if, if I, for example, cleaning time, no? Cleaning time, you say, I want to have the house clean, everything. No, you need to uh, set the, the kitchen clean, uh, bathrooms clean, and <laughs> you can. Uh, Maintain, uh, and maintain and maintain everything at the week and it, so that it is 20 percent. the result is 80 because it's cleaning everything you know it, it does apareto does apply a lot at home mm-hmm. and it's important as she said to identify what are the priorities because yes, if you what? focus on them and the priorities are usually few Hmm. But you're doing well. You get eighty percent of the result, hmm. and that's uh, both of us. Uh, both of us uh, working full time mm-hmm. with three kids mm-hmm. and with no external help. Mm-hmm. So it's better if you talk with your part, or sorry, with your couple. What is our priority? What is our basically mental health priority? You know, for me, it's cleaning because uh, three little kids are a mess. So I need to have, uh, you know, my 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 balance <laughs> for that. Okay, bueno. Um, I I uh, we're gonna get more questions. Um, but I'm just wondering, James, you work full time? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do. Yes. Okay. Good. Now, um, being a freelance, um, there's the tendency to the more you work, the more money you get. Right. So you have really no boundaries, as it were. And since you need more money, I'm sure Mm -hmm. there's a tendency to want to work much more to be able to pay the bills or take up more a a different kind of lifestyle. Uh, I see you have some. So how do you you manage to do this? We are. We don't have, you know, this kind of things. We don't go outside abroad every summer. We are we are pretty austere mm-hmm. as we chose. We decided to focus. We wanted a good house. We put our we did save uh, money for a lot of a lot of years so together to mm. to finally buy a house. We, are, we have yes. a mortgage for thirty years, but we focus, we wanted to raise our kids in in the country. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of fields. We were walking every weekend. Mm-hmm. We're really still, but we don't go. We only go out to once the cinema a week. every week. Don't we go. Don't, no, yeah. we are so. We always sit at home, except yeah. that that day uh, during the week, which we uh, during which we meet for our daily uh, for our weekly dates. So we have free hobbies. You know, we... prepaid hobbies. Go outside to the country. Go to the nature. Uh, go to sure. you know, um, visiting our family. We have a simple life because we don't want to be a um, esclavo. Um, well, we don't want to be exactly to depend. Depends uh, about on, things, on in, money, on, things on income. So that's one. But Rocío, let me tell you, uh, she has over the years had a huge, uh, lots of clients. She had to start over when we moved. When they, I got a got a promotion. We had to move from Pamplona in the north of Spain to Madrid, mm. and she had to start over with her with her clients and find new clients. Mm. So she did. It was tough for a couple of years. Then she got so many that she she had to start choosing because if not, she would be 
working as, as a person mm. said, she would be working into nights or taking time away from the kids or whatever. Every, every weekend so, I work. Every so weekend. She, I don't have, um, you know, holidays. No, I don't have. It's the time uh, where my family is with, uh, my kids are with uh, yeah. the parents. So, you know, I, I don't want to know. It's very better if you go to freelance, go uh, be freelance. No, it's not easy, but I have the priorities in my head. I say, I want this. I want to stay at home and work a lot. <laughs> but no. she doesn't take she doesn't take time away I've got she's, one of my she's Mariana. One of kids here you know, Mariana. <laughs> I see, I see. This, this is a practical session <laughs> okay uh, another question for you it's you you have a communication code mm -hmm. a code word you use and you don't understand to mean hey I've had it up to here I I just need to I need some space to breathe now mm -hmm. I was wondering, if, although you didn't release the code word, but because it's private to you, but I was wondering if it's only you, Brookshire, that makes the code word, or at times James no, no. also say the code word, and then it's to be used by both of you. It's, it's a password. It's a okay. password. Uh -huh. I can do nothing more. I'm going to ver ver boom. <laughs> you know. Now, is it only you that use it or James use it from time to time? Oh. It goes, it goes, it goes both ways. Both yeah. ways. Yeah, it is true, but you know you are going Word to say, is constant. I can't do anything more. No, because our kids listen it. Yeah. It is negative. So okay. I say, my special word. And he said, okay, go outside. Okay. <laughs> I'm going it's to like, uh, I'm going to bread. <laughs> it, it's a comic word. No, we don't want to share because it's personal, but <laughs> no, it's but, good. It's good. It's good. But, but it's <laughs> It's a kind of break because we all have tough, uh, tough days that we're both tired or we didn't sleep yeah. well because of the kids. Yeah. And sometimes you reach the end of your tether and mm -hmm. you say, hey, I, I can't do it's anymore and I don't want to take it out on the kids, obviously. Yeah. So it's a, way to, it's a way to break away from the situation to say, hey, ta, okay, it's kind of an SOS. Mm -hmm. I'll take over. I'm, I'm able to take over. Mm -hmm. Go. Uh, you can relax. You can yeah. do... One hour, two it, hours, five use, minutes. We use, you it, know? <laughs> we use it when we really need it. But yeah. yeah, there are tough times that it's necessary. Then there are a couple complete months where we, in which we don't use it. So. Uh, yeah, because if I don't say that word, I start to cry. I'm going to do that. You know, the, 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 you have that, to recognize the, the situation. Yeah, and sometimes true. that's tough to be conscious about, hey, I, I can't, can't do more. I can't I can do, do more. more. I can't. It, this is for mental health. You have every yeah. goal. You need to do be the better things. You you have to be the best mother. You have to be the best yeah. worker. So I I can do anything. So I can do anything perfectly because I'm human. I'm, <laughs> I yeah. have this this kind of work, and we say okay. Well, luckily, so. luckily, okay. you know it mostly has happened that the other has the energy to oh, take wow. over, <laughs> but of course the situation could give itself that we're both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay now one other question when you mentioned the eight by three eight 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 i, I was quite excited by it to say eight hours to sleep eight hours to work eight hours to do things you enjoy doing and i like hey what happens to commuting times that is transportation to work and back you know yeah. so what happens to time to get the groceries i was say where does this fit into it is eight 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 yeah, it's oh. not exactly, it's but a concept, it's a concept. Me. You say I have eight hours per day. A, a day, a, it's better because I have eight hours just to uh, practice sport. Okay, oh, you, you go to get early. My husband and I, I, I start to work at five o'clock in Spain. It's it's, it's, um, it's like crazy at the morning. At the morning, five at the morning. So it is a, in Spain, it's very uh, weird. You are going to work at five o'clock, okay? Because I have three hours, <laughs> three hours. I uh, I uh, rest three hours of, of my sleep, so to put working because I have I need three hours more. But my husband go to practice sport at six o'clock, six until seven. No, six to seven. No, he go, he go outside to run. Uh, before uh, well, well yeah what we found is with the with the kids uh, mm -hmm. when we have afternoons we spend most of the time and by the end when we put them to bed we are depleted mm -hmm. so 
what we do is we both woke up, wake up early around half past five, five or so. We prefer that. We prefer and rest hours to sleep because we, we sleep we, for five same, hours. We are very well. <laughs> Not five. I think we sleep more than five. I think mm -hmm. we go to eleven at the, at eleven at the latest, and we wake up at five. So at least we get six hours, sometimes six and a half, seven. If we are tired, we sleep. Uh, we sleep more. in. Mm -hmm. But it's a way we can both uh, have breakfast together, mm -hmm. and everyone and each one has their own routine. I like to read for a bit, then do some sport before I go to work. Mm -hmm. And Rocio has her coffee. What uh, I start to work in. And she starts working exactly before she takes the kids to school. Mm -hmm. That's that's it. Okay, so more comments and questions, uh, but I would like to ask one. Um, I mean, Charia, uh, Evan, you have a comment, Onyinye, Andy, if you have a comment, just unmute your mic and then and then speak. Meanwhile, I was just wondering, uh, Rocio, that um, you studied journalism mm -hmm. and now you're an expert in corporate design and mm -hmm. uh, freelance, um, you no know, freelance design and things like that. So I was just wondering, how were you able to obscure because you did this to be able to um, create a skill to earn some money different from your normal training where you'll be in control of things. How were you able to upskill? Okay. Um, yeah, wait, wait, I'm afraid we, we didn't understand the question correctly. How did she manage to, to... to switch? To okay. switch to not have the new skills to be able to do the things she's doing now okay. because people are doing jobs they don't they are not happy in yeah. but they can't do anything else um and just remain there but for you you're able to now reskill mm -hmm. upskill mm -hmm. and to not get a, a niche for yourself and you're not created a job for yourself where you can work and stay at home but i have a personal experience you know that in, in the in the newspaper Everybody okay. is working at a uh, change. See, oh, how did you change from one situation to the other? Oh, uh, just a sign to be a. She. A ver, explain it. You were, she was working. No, I, I'm going to help her mm. if you don't mind. She right. um, she got a job after her uh, after the internship. She got a job of um, normal job, mm -hmm. uh, nine to five job in the university. And she was mm -hmm. doing some research for a book that was coming out in the that came out in the following months. Mm -hmm. During that time, she started working on the side for small clients that were yeah. asking for little things. And little by little, little by she little. Got yeah. and, and after a while, she was able to leave her job because she already had enough clients to start working not full time but but i start but working middle uh, by uh, with clients little clients and at the at the university and then when i say okay i can do these things alone because we, if i uh, put more more time in these clients i can um uh, uh, grow up so i start and i say okay it's very sacrifice because you got you have to stay uh, client by client doing things but it's better for me because I'm the owner of my own, I'm the owner of my time. So I didn't have boss, I have clients. This is my other boss. <laughs> you know, she's my boss. She's so, she, she, how do you say? Is she, is she a demanding boss? Is she a demanding boss? Yes, the demanding boss. <laughs> so a little bit toxic. <laughs> no, but you know, I have to, I prefer. Uh, she's my boss than the other one because uh, I have, I feel free. I feel free to choose. And this is a situation that we have to think but that's sorry. <laughs> at the beginning. I want to do these things uh, every year, every time, or I want to change my mind. I say, okay, I'm going to start it because my husband had, had another work. Uh, in a, it, it's very, um, it's, um, it's very stable. It's very, you know, stable. stable. So I can do this. If we are now, if we are going to be two freelancers, it's very difficult. Be tough, I think. It's yeah, a, it's a, it's a right time balance. I have yeah, a, it does have a balance. Schedule, mm -hmm. but I, I do have my free time is free. Yeah, mm -hmm. Thankfully, I don't have free time. I all all she, time is free, but not free. She it's has free. to plan her free time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very I am doing everything freely. <laughs> okay so we have just one minute to go and in fact 30 seconds to go so any 
final word of advice, 30 seconds advice for, to our audience. Yes. Well, I just wanted to say thank you for advertising, as you said, a more simple or austere uh, lifestyle. This is much more appealing and much more true than, as you said, being a slave to mm -hmm. many other things. So yeah. it's, uh, it's, thank you very much for that. Thank you. Okay. Uh, all right. Thank you very much, and uh, uh, Remy. So I, I thought we have um, you have one more word, or we just go now because we said a lot already. So thank you very much for joining us in today's edition of the program. Um, James and Rocio, you did great. I mean, you have um, with those practical tips, and this video, many more will watch and get to learn of these tips you have um, you have been um, given today. So thank you very much, everybody, for joining us today. See you, I think, next time in October. Um, we'll get our next guest. All right, bye. Thank you all. Thank, thank you, James. All. Thank you, James, for the support. Rocio, great. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Take care. Good to see your kids.